Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we'll be discussing chapter number 5, Functional Group Transformations from JFL and Nunn's Solution Manual. Now let us start with this question. So in this question, first of all, MCPBA is given in presence of dichloromethane. So what is MCPBA? It is metachloroparbenzoic acid. Par benzoic acid metachlorparbenzoic acid is MCPBA so what is its function it can form epoxide or and also it can undergo bare villager oxidation bare villager oxidation and gives us ester okay now in this case a double bond is present there so it will give us an epoxide here an epoxide is formed okay now the epoxide is will form below the plane or above the plane in this it is written above the plane okay this group is present above the plane so the epoxide will form below the plane okay and there is a methyl group now in the next step LDA is given LDA is lithium diisopropyl amide okay what is its role it is going to abstract a proton and here temperature is also given minus 70 degree celsius at minus 70 degree celsius it is going to abstract the least hindered proton now there is ch2 and there is ch3 so it is going to abstract this proton it is let me write here ch2 and hydrogen so this negative charge is going to abstract this hydrogen and there will be a negative charge okay on the carbon atom then this negative charge will form a bond and this bone epoxide this epoxide bond will break and it will give us here a double bond will form and below the plane O minus and here this group is above the plane and this O minus is then this negative charge is going to abstract a proton from the solution and it will become OH. Okay, this is the product of this reaction. Let us move to our next question. So, in this question, first of all, lithium ammonia, ether, and butanol. Whenever you see like this, lithium ammonia and alcohol is present, then this is a Birch, reduc Birch reduction will take place. Birch reduction. Okay. And in case of Birch reduction, whenever you have an electron donating group, then on Birch reduction it will give us this type of system. Okay, in Birch reduction there is there is single electron transfer takes place. Okay, single electron transfer. So it will give this product or either same thing. You can say this product. Okay. and whenever there is electron withdrawing group then on Birch reduction it is going to give us the double bond will not be attached to this carbon it will be like this okay in this reaction OME and methyl these two are what electron don electron donating groups yes or not don't think that OME has minus i so it is electron withdrawing not like that ome has minus i yes but it has lone pair the lone pair is going to undergo me here mesomeric plus m is also there mesomeric effect is undergo resonance okay always remember that mesomeric effect dominant over the inductive effect so finally we get two electron donating groups are available in this in this uh, compound okay so what it will give the product electron donating group so let it let me write here OME and here ME now after beach reduction since whenever beach reduction will be there the double bond will be attached to that particular group okay just thing like that so it is going to give in the first step then in the second step oxalic acid methanol and H2O it is it is mild hydrolysis will take place okay mild hydrolysis so mild hydrolysis of this group means it is becoming OH so whenever you see OH and double bond just convert it thus there will be totomerization totomerization 
ketoin automation and you are getting a ketone group okay so this is the product formed in this step now let's see what product is formed in this step in the next step mcpb is given along with dichlor di dichloromethane so what is the role of mcpb it is going to make this double bond into an epoxide and it will remain as such and in the next step ac2o acetic anhydride in presence of a base okay diisopropyl ethanamide so in eth ethanamide so in this case it is going to abstract a proton now we, there is two proton available for abstraction right so that the epoxide ring could be opened now which proton it is going to abstract either this proton or this proton so first of all consider this proton is abstracted when this proton is abstracted a negative charge will be generated here and this negative charge is further not stabilized whereas in this case if in if this proton is abstracted there will be a generation of negative charge and this negative charge is stabilized due to delocalization okay so this proton is going to abstracted and not this one so we are going to get double bond to o minus then this o minus which is formed here since acetic anhydride is given that is ch3 c double bond o o c o and wait, ch3 okay so this o minus is going to attack here negative charges go up come again come back this bond will break and epoxide is there m is there so this is this will be O in short I can write OAC and here a double bond epoxide and ME and in the next step this bond will again come back and double bond will form here and this epoxide ring will open it will give us double bond O there will be a double bond and it will be O minus and it will be methyl then this negative charge is going to abstract a proton from the solution okay and it will form OH so this will be the final product of this reaction now let us see our next question so what are the products formed in this reaction first of all sodium in presence of ammonia ethyl ethanol so this is the pre like the previous one bridge reduction will take place so during bridge reduction we have to see whether it is electron donating or withdrawing these two are electron donating so simply I told you put the double bond attached to the electron donating group okay and there will be another double bond so this will be the product formed in this reaction then in the next reaction next next step hydrogen in presence of 3 triphenyl phosphine rhodium chloride what is this this is Wilkinson's catalyst Wilkinson's catalyst okay and toluene is given so Wilkinson's catalyst will selectively undergo hydrogenation for of the less substituted alkene as compared to the more substituted alkene okay it will undergo substitution at the least hydrogenation at the less substituted alkene so it will give us this product sorry the question was incomplete okay so again there is boron is there and with tetrahydrofuran and sodium hydroxide in presence of peroxide H2O2 this reagent is used for hydroboration hydroboration of alkene okay hydroboration of alkene so first of all since bo boron is electron deficient okay so first of all it will this pi bond is going to donate electron density to the boron CH3 and here also CH3 there will be BH3 I am writing BH2H to show the next section and there is a positive charge so in the next and there will be a negative charge on the boron now in the next step this hydride is going to transfer here and this positive charge will get out okay 
सी एच थ्री बी एच टू सी एच थ्री हाइड्रोजन सो फर्दर नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ एच टू हाइड्रोजन पेर ऑक्साइड सो वॉट इट दिस स्टेप विल गिव अस इट विल इट विल देर इज अ मेकानिजम बिहाइंड इट बट रिमेंबर वन थिंग दैट वेन एवर बी एच टू इज देयर एंड वी ऑक्सीडाइज विथ सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ पेर ऑक्साइड इट विल कन्वर्ट इट टू ओ एच दिस बी एच टू विल बी कन्वर्ट इट टू ओ एच ओके and this will be the final product of this reaction but if stereochemistry is asked in this question then what will be the product from let's see if the two methyl groups are above the group above the plane then it is going to attack below the plane so bh3 i am writing it bh2h and a positive charge here negative charge will be in the boron then this hydrogen is going to attack here and this positive charge will be neutralized this hydrogen is also going to attack below the plane okay above this one is also above ch3 ch3 and it will be below this one is hydrogen also also will be below then on further sodium hydroxide and peroxide the oh which is going to form is also below the plane there will be no change in the configuration retention of the product will take place okay no inversion retention will take place so this will be the product if stereochemistry is given now in this question what are the products formed first of all mcpb is given but there is no double bond in, in this time so this time no epoxide will form instead there is a ketone group so this time there will be bare villager oxidation okay and from bare village oxidation we know that it is going to give us a ester group okay ester group so let us write this again now wait ch3 this is otbs tributyl silyl oxide silyl dimethyl oxide okay it is protecting group it will not interfere here now since ester is going to get formed okay so in simple words we can say that oxygen will be inserted okay so where this oxygen is going to get inserted there there or here now in simple words actually it depends on the migratory aptitude of the group okay but since but in terms in case of entrance just remember this whenever you see a 3 degree carbon and 2 degree carbon and 1 degree carbon the priority order will be 3 degree 2 degree 1 degree so whenever since in this carbon what is the degree here it is 3 degree and what is the carbon here it is 3 hydrogen so it's not even 1 degree also it is 0 degree okay so 3 degree, degree carbon has more priority than 0 degree so the oxygen is going to be here and there will be star formation here okay so this will this this will give us our product this one further in the next step keto ch3 is given so what is keto ch3 it is a base o minus k plus so it is going to abstract a proton now from where here proton is available ch2 ch okay so neg this negative charge is going to abstract this hydrogen and bond will form here and the charge will go here and again it will come back and this bond will break okay this giving us rest of the part will remain the same it will be o minus then further from the solution it will abstract a proton it will become oh so this is the product formed in this step and then in the next step pdc is given so pdc is pyridium dichlorochromate so in presence of dichloromethane so what is its role oxidation will take place okay so there is 2 degree alcohol so it will convert it into a ketone and this will be our final product